हेलो बच्चो लेट्स रीड दिस क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन से इज दैट लेट अल्फा बीटा एंड गैमा बी थ्री पॉजिटिव रियल नंबर लेट एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू अल्फा एक्स रेस टू फाइव प्लस बीटा एक्स क्यू प्लस गैमा एक्स वेर एक्स बिलोंग्स टू आर जी सच दैट आर टेंस टू आर बी सच दैट जी ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स is equals to x for all x belongs to r and if a1 a2 a3 up to an be an arithmetic progression with mean 0 then the value of f of g of 1 divided by n summation of 1 i is equals to 1 to n f of ai is equals to so here we need to find the f of g of this so first of all the key concept to solve this question is if f of g of x is equals to x and g of f of x is equals to x for all x then f and g are the inverse function and the arithmetic mean for the arithmetic progression that can be represented as a1 plus a2 plus up to plus an divided by n and the sum will be given as that is n divided by 2 a1 plus an where a1 is the first term and an that will be the last term now here we have given g of f of x is equals to x it means that f and g are the inverse function so therefore here we can write f or g of x that is also equals to x so here we have given f of g of 1 divided by n summation of i is equals to 1 to n f of ai so it means that g ke baad ka jo term hai wo hamara kya ban jayega yahan pe x so here we can write f of g of 1 divided by n summation of i is equals to 1 to n f of ai that is equals to we can write 1 divided by n summation of i is equals to 1 to n f of ai so abhi hume summation of f of ai ki value फाइंड करनी है सो so, उसके लिए वी हैव गिवन एफ ऑफ एक्स दैट इज इक्वल टू अल्फा एक्स रेस टू फाइव प्लस बीटा एक्स क्यूब प्लस गैमा एक्स सो दैट इंप्लाइज दैट एफ ऑफ ए आई विल बी अल्फा ए आई रेस टू फाइव प्लस बीटा ए आई क्यूब प्लस गैमा मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ए आई सो therefore we will get the summation of i is equals to 1 to n f of ai is equals to alpha a1 raised to 5 plus beta a1 cube plus gamma multiplied by a1 plus alpha a2 raised to 5 plus beta a2 cube plus gamma a2 plus Up to plus alpha a n raised to five plus beta a n cube plus gamma multiplied by a n. This is suppose equation one. Now we have also given the arithmetic mean is equals to zero. It implies that a one plus a two plus up to plus a n the sum of all the terms that will be divided by the total number of terms that is n 
is equals to 0 that implies that a1 plus a2 plus up to plus a n is equals to 0. This is suppose equation 2. Now as we know in arithmetic progression we can write a1 plus a n is equals to a2 plus a n minus 1 is equals to a3 plus a n minus 2 and so on. It means first term plus last term is equals to second term plus second last term that is equals to third term plus third last term and so on. So this is suppose equation 3. So from equation 2 and 3 we can write for equation 1 that is a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus up to plus we can write like this a n minus 2 plus a n minus 1 plus a n that is equals to 0. Agar hum sub terms ko a1 plus a n ki term me convert kare kyuki we have from equation 3 we can write a1 plus a n that is equals to we can write a2 plus a n minus 1. Again, a3 plus a n minus 2 that can be represented as a1 plus a n. So, agar hum sub terms ko a1 plus a n ki term me convert karenge, to humare paas kya aega a1 plus a n aur yaha pe total n terms hai, to wo kitni divide hogi half me. So, that is n divided by 2 is equals to 0. So, from equation 3, we can write like, we can again write like a1 plus a n is equals to 0. That implies that a1 is equals to minus a n. For a2 plus a n minus 2, that is equals to 0. Sorry, a2 plus a n minus 1 equals to 0. 0 that implies that a2 is equals to minus a n minus 1 and for a3 plus a n minus 2 equals to 0 that gives a3 is equals to minus a n minus 2 and so on. So here suppose this is equation 4. So if we put these values like a1 is equals to minus a n a2 is equals to minus a n minus 1 and a3 is equals to minus a n minus 2. In equation 1, then we will get the summation of i is equals to 1 to n f of a i is equals to alpha a1 raised to 5 plus beta a1 cube plus gamma a1 plus alpha a2 raised to 5 plus beta a2 cube plus gamma a2 plus up to plus alpha multiplied by minus a n minus 1 raised to 5 plus beta minus a n minus 1 raised to cube plus gamma multiplied by minus a n minus 1 plus Alpha multiplied by minus a n raised to 5 plus beta minus a n raised to cube plus gamma minus a n. So here we will get nothing because ye sare jo terms hai wo cancel out ho jayenge. So therefore that implies that summation of i is equals to 1 to n f of a i is equals to 0. Suppose this is equation 5. We can write f of g of 1 divided by n summation of i is equals to 1 to n f of a i is equals to f of g of 1 divided by n multiplied by 0. So that is equals to f of g of 0. 
that is equals to here we know that f or g of x is equals to x that means here x is equals to 0 then here we can write that is equals to also 0. So here we can say that the value of f of g of 1 divided by n summation of i is equals to 1 to n f of a i is equals to 0. So this will be the answer. It means that option A will be the correct option and the final answer is 0. Hope you understood it well. Best of luck.